Welcome everyone, I'm Laura Shu, author of the Lightroom blog and Lightroom workshops on video at laurashu.com. In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade to Lightroom Classic version 9 from any prior version, 8.4, 7.3, 5.7, whatever you may have. Note that this video won't apply to doing small version 9 updates, for example, from 9.0 to 9.1. That'll be a much simpler process because there's no catalog upgrade. Now, even upgrading from a prior version should be pretty straightforward and quick, but I'm making this video tutorial and I'll walk you through the entire process because occasionally things go wrong and because a couple of the dialogues that come up can be confusing and even scary, but no need to fear. Now, the operating system requirements for Lightroom Classic version 9 have changed. On Mac, you'll need at least High Sierra. So 10.13 and later, that's High Sierra, Mojave, or Catalina. To see what you have, click on the Apple, go to About This Mac, and it'll be listed right here. So I'm good to go. Now, if you have Windows 10, you'll need at least version 1809. Lightroom Classic 9 also supports Windows 7 Service Pack 1. To see which version of Windows you have, Go into your Settings app, go to System, and then About. If I scroll down, I see that I'm using 1909, so I'm in good shape. Now, people often ask me whether they should clean up their missing files and folders and other organizational issues in their old version of Lightroom before upgrading. It really doesn't matter. You can upgrade and then clean up afterwards your disorganization will follow you just fine. Open up your old version of Lightroom. This is Lightroom 6. I want you to understand where your catalog is just in case Lightroom Classic can't find it. On a PC, go to Edit. On Mac, go to Lightroom and then Catalog Settings. On the General tab, we see the location and the file name of our catalog. Write these down. Then you can close this dialog and then close your old version of Lightroom. Now, when Lightroom Classic upgrades your catalog, it makes a copy of your old one and upgrades that. So it's really not necessary to back it up right before upgrading, but it certainly couldn't hurt to have two backups. I'll go ahead and skip this. Next, if you're coming from Lightroom 6 or earlier, and you haven't yet subscribed to Adobe's photography plan, you'll need to do that. Go to the adobe.com site, look for the photography plan that includes Lightroom Classic, Photoshop, and the cloud-based Lightroom in case you want to try that. One quick way that you can get to the plans, or at least that some of you will be able to, is actually to go to my website, which is laurashu.com, click on blog, and then scroll down on the right here. If you don't have an ad blocker running, then you'll find a Creative Cloud banner here that you can click on, and that takes you out to the plans. And here's the photography plan right here. Now, in full disclosure, by coming from my website, if you subscribe, I also get a little commission, so it helps me. Once you've subscribed, then you'll want to download the Creative Cloud application. You should be guided to download that after you pay for your subscription, but if not, you can come into your account on adobe.com and go into your services and download it from here. And click on Get App and download and install it. Of course, the website is changing all the time, so you may find it in a different place. Once you have the Creative Cloud app, go ahead and open it and go to Photography. Note that I may have a lot more categories than you have because I have the All Apps plan. What we're looking for here is Lightroom Classic version 9. Right now, 9.0 is out, but by the time you're watching this video, maybe it's 9.2, 9.3. Notice that I also have Lightroom 6 down here. I'm going to ignore that. I'm also going to ignore Lightroom, the cloud-based photo service. That's the streamlined cloud-based application not the one that has all the features of Lightroom Classic. If you're coming from Lightroom 6 or later, you'll see Install. If you're coming from a later version, you'll see Update. So go ahead and click on that button. 
Now some of you may not see Lightroom Classic version 9. If you don't, then I would first go to Help and check for updates. If you still don't see it, then come to Lightroom Classic version 8.4 or whatever you do see here, click on the three dots and choose Other Versions. So here's Lightroom Classic 9. Click on Install from here, then click on Done. I'll pause the video while this installs. It's finished installing and I can tell it was successful because now I have an open button. I'll click on it. Now most of you following along have now gotten this catalog upgrade dialog. If you didn't and Lightroom has just opened and there are no photos in Lightroom now, then it didn't detect that you had a prior version. In that case, go up to File, Open Catalog, and navigate to the catalog that you wrote down. Mine was on my desktop in a Lightroom folder, and here was the LRCAD file. And then I would click on Open. Then you should get this Catalog Upgrade dialog. Now we want to make sure here that Lightroom has found the correct catalog. You may have more than one on your computer. Notice that the upgrade destination for me is the same location, my Lightroom folder on my desktop. By the way, I don't recommend that as a place for your catalog. I've just put one there for this video. But anyway, the same location as my prior catalog, and then the same name with dash 2 appended to it. So Lightroom's making a copy of your catalog and upgrading that, and it needs a new file name, so it adds a number. If you see the same file name you had in the same location with a number or a different number appended, then Lightroom has found your correct catalog. Note that if your original catalog already had dash 2, you may see dash 2 dash 2 or dash 3. That's okay, but make sure that otherwise you have the same name in the same location. If you don't, then you'll click on Choose a different catalog. If you see the catalog that you wrote down in the list here, then select it. If you don't, then you'll click on Choose a different catalog again, and you'll navigate to where the catalog is that you wrote down, and you'll select the yellow cat file, and you'll click on Choose. Then you'll click on Open, and you'll be back at the Upgrade dialog, and this will show the correct one. Now this dialog sounds pretty scary. What it comes down to is that the new Lightroom Classic 9 catalog can't later be used in an earlier version of Lightroom. Lightroom 6, for example. So if you go back to using Lightroom 6 because you don't want to subscribe anymore, then you'll go back to using your old catalog, the one that you wrote down, and then you'll have to import into that photos that were new since you were using Lightroom 6. Now there's a little bit more to that. If you decide to revert to an earlier version, search my blog for revert to earlier version of Lightroom for more details, but this is not dire. Now this says if you need backward compatibility, please back up this catalog and its previews. Well, you don't need to back up the catalog because this is a copy with a new file name. You'll still have the old one. Now let me go out to Finder to talk about these previews files. Most of you I would say don't worry about this, but if you think you really might revert to an earlier version of Lightroom because you might stop subscribing and you want to follow the advice in this dialog to the T, then you go out to Finder Windows Explorer and into the catalog folder that you wrote down and make a copy of this previews file. I mentioned that when you upgrade, Lightroom Classic will make a copy of the catalog and use that, but it will grab the old previews file and use it. I say it's not a big deal because if you go back to Lightroom 6, it will rebuild the previews file. But again, if you want to follow the advice to the T, then make a copy of this file. Maybe put it in a folder called Lightroom 6 Catalog Files. All right, I'm going to close this and I'm going to click on Upgrade. So Lightroom is updating the format of the catalog a little bit. It's a behind the scenes thing. You're not going to see anything different when you open Lightroom as a result of that. At this point, you should be in great shape. You should see all of the photos and all of the work that you've done. 
If you don't, then you almost certainly made a mistake when you chose which catalog Lightroom is supposed to update. In that case, you'll go up to File, Open Catalog, and navigate to the catalog that you wrote down. Select it and let Lightroom go through the upgrade process again. By the way, if you've been using third-party Lightroom plugins, they may not work with Lightroom Classic 9. You may have to go out to the plugin developer's website and get an update for your plugin. I know that when Classic 9.0 was released, there was an issue with LR time lapse. If you're using that, go out to the developer's website to read about a workaround for that. All right, now we have a couple more things to get squared away. First is making sure that you can find Lightroom Classic and getting your desktop and taskbar icon squared away. And then optionally, renaming your Lightroom catalog and the associated files so that you don't have cryptic numbers in them. And then finally, deleting your old catalog. Now I'm gonna close Lightroom and I really wanna quit and I'm not gonna back up during this video tutorial. I just upgraded from Lightroom 6 to Lightroom 9. But down in my dock, I still have the old Lightroom 6 icon. I know that because as I hover over it, it says Adobe Lightroom. It doesn't say Adobe Lightroom Classic. If you were using Lightroom 6 or an earlier version and yours says Adobe Lightroom, you'll want to remove it from your dock, taskbar, or your desktop. On a Mac, you can drag it to the trash. On Windows, right-click and remove it. Now, if your icon says Adobe Lightroom Classic CC or Lightroom Classic CC, the CC being the important part, that's also not going to work because it refers to your Classic 7 or Classic 8 version. The name now doesn't have CC in it. So you'll also want to remove that. I'll drag mine to the trash. To get Lightroom Classic in your dock, taskbar, or on the desktop, go into Finder or Windows Explorer. On Mac, go into your applications. On PC, go into your program files. And then look for Adobe Lightroom Classic. Not Classic CC, Classic. Next, on Mac, drag the program file, the one with the Lightroom icon, down into your dock. On Windows, you can do the same. Now that you have it in your dock taskbar or on the desktop, go ahead and open it. Some of you will get this confusing dialog. This catalog was previously upgraded. Would you like to use the newer upgraded catalog instead? Well, I just upgraded it a minute ago. You guys saw me upgrade it. <laughs> so Lightroom Classic is still trying to open the old Lightroom 6 catalog rather than the new one we just created. I'll click on Yes, use the newer upgraded catalog. I don't need to upgrade it again. And now we're going to tell Lightroom to always open that upgraded catalog so we never get that dialog again. To do that, on PC go to Edit, on Mac, go to Lightroom Classic, and then into Preferences, not Catalog Settings. On the General tab, under Default Catalog, click on the drop-down and choose the top one here. That's the one you're in. That's the upgraded catalog. And then if you're on PC, click on OK. On Mac, go ahead and close the dialog. Now you should be set. Anytime you click on your icon in your taskbar, your dock, you'll open to the right catalog. All right, just two more topics to go, renaming the catalog and then deleting the old catalog. Let's look at how to rename it. Now, anytime we rename or otherwise touch the catalog file, Lightroom needs to be closed. So go ahead and close Lightroom. Really want to quit. I'm not going to back up during this video tutorial. I'll go out to Windows Explorer or Mac Finder and I'll go to where my catalog is. It's in the same place I wrote down before. It's just the newer version. In my case, the one with the dash two on it. Now you can rename your catalog anything you like. I think I'll name mine Lightroom Classic Catalog. So I'll right click here and choose rename. And what I want to do is make sure I don't wipe out the .lrcat. So I'll just come in and delete the dash two and I'll put in classic, and then I'll hit enter. Next, I need to rename the previews and the helper file as well. And if you see a sync database in here or LR data, 
you'll need to rename that as well. So anywhere you see the catalog name here. So I'll come in, remove the dash two, put in classic. Now make sure that you leave in spaces just as they were before. So I have Lightroom Classic Catalog space previews.lr data. So I'll come into the helper file, backspace, get rid of the dash two, put in classic. Check that they're named exactly the same. They are, and I'm good to go. Now we've confused Lightroom though, because it's looking for catalog dash two, and that doesn't exist anymore. So we need to tell Lightroom what the catalog is now named. To do that, double click on the LR cat file to launch Lightroom with the renamed catalog. And then we'll tell Lightroom to always open this renamed catalog. On PC, go to Edit. On Mac, go to Lightroom Classic, Preferences, and then under Default Catalog. We don't want it to open Dash 2 anymore. We want it to open Lightroom Classic Catalog. So I accidentally took you into this dialog twice, but now you're set whether you rename the catalog or not. All right, I'll close that. Let's go back out to Windows Explorer or Mac Finder. We're not going to touch the Lightroom Classic catalog, so it's OK that Lightroom is open. And talk about your old catalog. Once you've been up and running with Lightroom Classic for a while, and you're completely comfortable, at some point, you'll delete this. But I wouldn't recommend doing it right away. If there are bugs in Lightroom Classic 9.0, and you need to revert to your earlier version until they get fixed, you'll need this old catalog to do that. Similarly, if you stop subscribing to Lightroom Classic and want to get back to Lightroom 6 or an earlier version, it can be helpful to have this old catalog. So for now, I would keep this catalog around. It might be a good idea to rename this whatever tells you what version it came from. I'll call it Lightroom 6 Catalog. While I'm out here, let me point out that if you have any temporary files, you can delete those. Lightroom just didn't clean up after itself after an import, so I'll do the cleanup myself. All right, at this point, you should be totally up and running with Lightroom Classic, and you can enjoy its new features. I'm Laura Shue.